Hi everybody, Tashi here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Welcome back and to everybody new, hello and welcome. I have little Stellan here with me today. I definitely know there's going to be lots of aunties out there that are going to be happy to see Stellan. <laughs> and to those of you new, um, this is my Levi sculpt by Bonnie Brown. Um, he was painted by Pearl of Happiness Nursery in Australia, and his name is Stellan. <laughs> so I got him changed already um, because I'm going to do some photos. So I put him in this little um, linen, cotton linen uh, gingham like short overalls um and they're in a mustard and i guess like a beige color and um a ribbed long sleeve top in i think this is oatmeal um by h m so i just i wanted to still like kind of use um some of the summer clothes but you know br incorporate them in, you know, as far as photos, bringing them into, you know, September and then, you know, on into the fall. So anyway, that's a little Stellan. I have little booties I'm going to put on him as well. But um, for now, I have a bottle for him. I figured that would just, you know, y'all know I like to do that and chat. <laughs> so I'm just going to feed little Stellan and um chat with you all on this beautiful wednesday so it is like quite early wednesday morning and yes i'm up i'm awake and up because um well number one it was my son gabriel's first day of high school so that's you know super exciting and where does the time go i just you know, to those of you all that have been with my channel, like, since the beginning, um, you'll remember his first day of middle school. And, you know, it was, like, you know, exciting and nerve-wracking all at once from him going from elementary school to middle school. And here he is now um, into high school. So, it's kind of... Yeah. So anyway, and I have a, an appointment later on this morning. So I had to be kind of, I have to stay up, put it that way <laughs> to those of you that know me. Um, so I had a couple minutes. I, I, you know, had a big cup of coffee and I said, ah, I'll film a video and um, chat with you all. So that's what I'm doing. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, well, I should say, if you're not subscribed and you'd like to be, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video. Um, and so it's so funny. The last video that I did, I touched briefly at the end. I think, I believe I changed, um, my silicone preemie boy, Ollie. Um, and I touched briefly on um, answering comments that are qu answering questions, you know, people comment questions that were like outright answered in the video, like, you know, easy questions. Usually, usually it will be um, where 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 did you get that baby or where can I buy, you know, a baby like that? Um, and of course, in the beginning of all my videos, whatever Dolly I'm featuring, I will say this is, you know, like I said, this is the, you know, Levi sculpt by Bonnie Brown and he was painted by Pearl of Happiness Nursery in Australia. So that, right, that's the artist <laughs> that painted him. This is the sculpt. So, you know, um... And that's probably like the number one um, question. Now, I just, I just kind of have come to, you know, the point after, you know, a few years on YouTube that I don't, 
even bother usually um, responding and saying, you know, well, number one, answering the question, which is silly because it's in the video. Um, and it's not like, I, I get it, like, and I'm not talking about y'all, like, I'm not talking about my my regular, you know, um, viewers and, you know, lovely ladies here that comment all the time, like, if you miss something that I put, said a brand or a size or, you know, I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about, like, you know, people that, that hop in on, I guess, you know, they see the Reborn and silicone dolls and, you know, I guess instead of watching the video, the whole video, I guess, um, they will, you know, just ask, you know, where you got, where to get the doll, um, which is fine, but, you know, it's, if you want an answer, watch watch the video because you know most channel creators don't want to have to over and over again you know um answer questions in the comments that like i said is in the video um there's like a few other other things that it's like um like there's no question about it it's it like it was the topic of a whole video and then they're you know asking you know stuff like that um and of course like it doesn't bother me um and i'm sure it doesn't bother most channel creators um because we're we're used to it and it's almost like if you if you have enough traffic on your channel, that's going to happen. So it's like you look at it like, okay, you know, people are clicking on, on my video. People are finding, you know, the video and, you know, obviously like the doll that's in the video. Um, so it's not like, you know, a, a bad thing. Um, it's just funny because the as I touched on talking about that, that I was gonna, you know, make a video talking about, you know, answering questions um, in the comments that have already been answered in the videos. <laughs> Somebody commented right on that video. Um, you know, um, I think where, who, where did you get that baby or who made that baby or where can I get that baby? One of the combination of, uh, on, and it was on Silicone Ollie. So not only did I say in the beginning of the video that um, my Silicone Ollie was, um, is, you know, the Bella Boy by Jenny Lee, uh, We ba Baby Nursery, um, um, completed by Jenny, I said at the end of the video in talking about answering questions in the comments, and I said, you know, where to get this doll? I bought him directly from the artist Jenny Lee at Wee Baby Nursery. <laughs> um, so I answered it twice and I talked about, you know, so it's like, <laughs> I found that kind of funny. So I believe I answered that comment in a funny way. Um, I, you know, I think they gave a compliment like, oh, he's so, you know, adorable and, you know, the where, where can I get one him type of thing. Um, so I answered, you know, politely and said, thank you so much. And then I just put, ha ha, yes, that's exactly what I was talking about. Assuming that the person was, you know, joking being sarcastic assuming that the person watched the video and was you know being facetious <laughs> being silly and saying where do I get that baby you know because it was <laughs> clearly talked about in the video so that's how I answered is it oh yeah that's what I was talking about um because me maybe they were because it was like so I ironic it was so like kind of you know what I'm saying like ridiculously like that it may have been they may have been joking um but they didn't respond you know with a smiley face or anything like that so I have no idea I'm just saying that's how I responded to that particular comment and in general um I just don't I just don't respond to you know 
um, the comments, like I said, when the answer is like blatantly obvious and in there, and especially on, you know, it it's usually it's traffic coming through. It's not like regular viewers. It's not channels I recognize. It's just you know a flow through. Um, so I, I'm not, you know, I don't want any of my, you know, regular viewers to think, to be afraid to ask a question just in case you miss something in the video. That's totally not what I mean. Um, you know, so please don't ever, ever be afraid to, you know, say, oh, what, yeah, what size is that? Or what, you know, that's totally fine. Even if it was answered in the video, because I know even personally for myself, um, if I, you know catch a friend's video and I might be cleaning or doing stuff and I just may have missed that they shared that you know what where they got something or what size something was or da da da, da and I ask in the comments but anyhow so let me know in the comments you all that are channel creators um do you get that um do you get you know people asking questions on your videos um, that the answers are in the videos and um, if you are you know a viewer um, when you ask a, a, a question especially like a, a, a you know like a basic question like you know wh where to get the doll or what's the dolls artist or you know something of the sort um, when you're g g asking that question do you watch the the video or do you just pop on and just like maybe you know see a minute see a doll you like and ask the question at you know without finishing watching the video and just move on and you know expect the answer um just curious as far as like what as viewers what y'all do and um as channel creators um what y'all do um anyway so yeah it's uh, like i said no big deal not some sort of you know whatever to, um just thought it was some conversation i definitely have more i want to touch on well i'll change his diaper really quick i want to touch on um several subjects actually um uh my dear friend over at kelly girl um she has keeps um doing some really fabulous um topics that i would like to you know like add to you know make my own video on um let's see if we can get y'all looking at him because i'm gonna change his diaper and then we'll put the booties on um so there's there's that and then there's a couple more you know there's some topics that I'm thinking of as well, of course, those kind of sometimes fly out of my head. Um, you know, I just won't get to them or by the time I'm making a video, I just won't remember like, oh, I wanted to talk about this, that or the other thing. And he's a cloth bodied reboard, by the way, so you won't see any baby bits in this like you would with the full bodied silicone. Um, to those of you new, he's a reborn doll. The reborn dolls have cloth bodies and vinyl head and limbs um anyway and yeah you know i want to i think i'm going to do um a fall series coming up in the fall um and go over some a lot of the basics um in in collecting uh you know like as such like explaining what a reborn doll is the difference between a reborn and a and a silicone or full-bodied silicone versus a partial silicone and etc etc and uh, I might do another one like on the kind of lingo we use often like the you know the shorthand or however you say that um, that you'll see in like um, you know on artist posts on sale posts um, you know on videos and things like that so um i of course i have a have a video with all that up in my playlist do any of you look at the playlists um if you're like interested in learning about the reborn hobby because i know on my channel i've created 
um, playlist. So if you go to the home screen of my channel, like where you would click subscribe and stuff like that, up top there's, you know, tabs. There's the community tab my, where my community wall is. And there's playlists. And I have a playlist of learning the Reborn Hobby series. So that is just a, a bunch of um, videos that are specifically um, geared toward newbies. Um, and then I have like everything uh, toddlers, everything silicones, everything preemies, um, everything diapers. Like, you know, so I have like everything diaper related, like all the videos that I could find and, you know, pick out that had to do with diapers, like cloth diapers, the, the different, you know, disposable diapers. I categorize them in there. Everything that, you know, was sharing um, toddler and dressing your toddlers and sizing and sculpts and all that I put in the toddler thing, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, yeah, if you're if you're new um, to my channel, um, please say hello and let me know if you um, make use of the playlist, if it's helpful um, to you all. Because, you know, I, I'm wondering how many people really know that the playlists are there um, because I certainly didn't as a new, you know, uh, when I was a new collector, like I didn't look for stuff like that on people's channels. I didn't really get that like a home page kind of existed and I don't know so I think you know there's so many social media platforms these days that it it can be confusing to find everything and um so I will often like if somebody has like a lengthy question or like comment that they state like that they're new to the hobby and they just don't you know, they don't know where to start, where to go about buying one of these dolls, et cetera, et cetera. I will always, you know, in when I comment back, leave a link to like the playlist learning the Reborn Hobby series, or if they're talking about, you know, silicone um, or toddler or preemie, whatever the case may be. Um, and I will, you know, drop the link for them um, because I feel like a lot of people don't realize that that's there. And I know when I was a newbie, like if I had like a, you know, playlist of, you know, videos um, to watch, you know, if it's a channel that I enjoyed and enjoyed the creator and, and liked seeing their dolls and stuff, oh boy, would that have been helpful to have everything in one place. So anyways, I am going to wrap it up at that and I'll show you, show you little Stellan now his diapers all changed his little milk belly is full and I just stuck these little um booties I think these are like a gray uh they're Quincy May and they're ribbed so they kind of matched up I thought with the oatmeal they tied into the oatmeal um top that's ribbed and that they'll make some cute photos so if you want to see photos of um Stellan in this outfit his it, when I do the photo shoot um there's always a link in the description below if you'd like to follow me on Instagram to see Stellan and all the babies in my collection in addition my channel has an exclusive membership if you'd like to become a part of the pixie squad click the blue join button next to subscribe and check out what that is and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and we'll see y'all real soon, right? Stolen says bye, aunties, uncles, and cousins. We got a lot of Levi co cousins out there that we love to hear about your Levi's. I know Stellan has inspired um, many of Levi's <laughs> in the community, even, um, gosh, I, I several. I can't, I'm not sure if I can even count um, that wound up getting named Stellan a few um a few collectors actually had you know like asked me what I you know what I mind it's it's you know Stellan is was their like dream Levi and that or that Stellan inspired you know their Levi and they 
want to name their Levi's still in and of course I don't mind that's a you know such an honor um so yeah so he's even not only <laughs> inspired Levi's and not necessarily Levi's done exactly the same as him although I think people have tried um which is fine as well because you know no two dolls are going to come out the same way even done by you know the same artists etc in fact that's a great topic that's a whole video topic um to talk about that but anyway um so each doll is gonna you know be each baby is gonna be unique anyway um and and not only have you know collectors you know done trying to get like the likes of um this Stellan um but just in general I cannot tell you all how many times I have been told that you know seeing you know me with my Stellan and the whatever it is the joy the magic all you know whatever inspired them to you know commission a, an artist to do a custom Levi or look for a Levi or whatever and um that makes me feel great you know because that just makes it's just like you know you want to feel useful here you know especially you've been on YouTube for several years and it sometimes like I'm like you know am I still you know inspiring people or um giving people information and da, da 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 so yeah it feels great so we love hearing about all your levi's out there and now we are seriously gonna go about our day and we will see y'all next time god bless